some stuff happened which made it glitch out into a game. Not great, so good, but this time I fixed it. So let's get into this and let's mercy dun dun dun. Oh yeah. It's a fishing rod. A fixed well I don't a fixed It's a fishing rod. It's a fishing rod stuck in the ground. Reel it in? Yes. All that's attached to the end of the photo is a, is a weird looking monster. Call me, here's my number. You decide not to call. Is the box? <clears throat> so, no wait, <clears throat> we got this just, so, no that's not it, so, so as I was saying about Undyne, that works. <clears throat> socket out for you. Well, that just happened. <coughs> Snow Drake flutters forth. Get heckled. Tell Snow Drake that they aren't funny. This won't be, well, this won't be funny either. Your attacks scare me so. Joke. I've heard that one. What do you mean you've heard that one? I've heard this one. Um. I'm laughing at you. Because you're a joke. Ha! <laughs> uh, check. Snowdrake. That's cool. Defense 7. This team can be comedian fights to keep a, a, a captive audience. He made a pun about ice, but I couldn't read it in time. <laughs> See? Laughs! Dad was wrong! Actually, no, your dad was right. That was not funny. <laughs> That's where you know? Yes, I can. <gasps> Dog! He's technically smoking... So, I guess a drug addict voice? Um... Did something move? Did something move or was that my imagination? I can only see moving things. If something was moving, for example, a human, I'd make sure it never moves again. 
Yeah, that sounds like a crack addict. Sure. Wait a minute. Doggo is suspicious too. Uh, Doggo is too suspicious of your movement. Don't move an inch. Pet doggo. What? I said pet. Pet, 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 pot, pet, pet, pot, 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 huh? S -s -s Something pet me. Something that isn't m moving. I'm gonna need some dog treats for this. Well, we move forward. Here's something important to remember. My brother has a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move and it won't be right Here's an easy way to keep to keep it in view. Imagine the stop sign when you see it. Imagine the stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red. So imagine a blue stop sign instead. Simple, right? If I didn't think of Think about blue stop signs. Thanks, Sands. North ice, south ice, west ice, east east Snowden Town, and ice. <laughs> Hi. Hello, I'm Snowman. I want to see the world, but I cannot move. If you'd be so kind to try with, please take a piece of me and bring it very bring it very far away. Thank you and good luck. We got snowman piece. How am I doing? How am I doing by I? I mean the piece that of me that I gave you. Uh, sh yeah, I mean you're doing well, I guess. Really tough, that human. Do, do I know that person? Do you not know? I know who I know as much as I know I know who I know. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Dumb. <laughs> oh ho! Speak of the devil! <clears throat> I mean, you're not wrong. I am quite the monster. In order to stop you, my brother and I have, ca have created some puzzles. And I think you'll find this one quite shocking. For you see, this is the invisible electricity maze. When you touch the walls of the maze, this orb will... I, I don't know how to say that. This, this orb will zap you. Sounds like fun. Because... The amount of fun you'll have is probably... Pa uh, uh, b -b 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 is actually rather small, I think. Okay. <clears throat> you can go ahead now. Rip. <laughs> Sans! What did you do? I think the human has to hold the orb. Oh, okay. What do you do, step in water? Hold this, please. Okay, now try now. Incredible, you slippery snail. You solved it so easily. Too easily. However, the next puzzle will not be so easily. I mean, easy. Dang it. It is designed by my brother Sands. You sh will surely be confounded. I know I am. 
Okay, and? Okay. Hey, thanks. The brother really seems like he's having fun. By the way, did you see that weird outfit he's wearing? He made that a few weeks ago for a, for a costume party. He hasn't worn anything else since. He keeps calling it his battle body. Man, isn't my brother so cool? We're the coolest, you know, you can even say the one. I'm gonna make this man's day. I don't understand why these aren't selling. It's per it's a perfect weather for something cold. It's pretty ironic. Oh, oh, a customer! Hello, would you like some ice cream? It's a frozen treat that warms your heart. Just 15G. Yeah, sure. Here you go. Have a super duper day. You got the ice you got the nice cream. Selling treats too. Want some fried snow? It's only 5G. Buy. So if I say 5G, I mean 50G. Buy. Really help, man? 5,000 5, G. Buy. How about 50,000 G? My, that's my final offer. Don't know what you're gonna deal with here. It's selling treats. It's fried snow. It's 5G. Yep. 50G. How about 5,000G? How about 50,000? 50,000G. Yeah, that's the final offer. What? You don't have enough money? Hey, that's okay. I don't have any snow. So what are we standing on? Smells danger rating. Snowman snow smell snowman white rating can become yellow rating. That's a special smell, puppy blue rating. Smells of rolling around. Weird smell. Humans, green rating. Destroy all at all costs. I had no under I have no I did not understand what I was reading. Human! I hope you're ready for today's crossword instead. What? Co crossword is lazy! Wait, oh, no. Crossword? I can't believe you said that! In my opinion, Junior Jumper is easily the hardest. What? Really, dude? That's an easy piece of word scramble. That's for baby bones. Unbelievable. Human! Solve this to be. Which is harder? J jumble or crossword? You two are weird. <laughs> you two are weird. Crosswords are so easy. It's the same solution every time. I just fill in the boxes with the letter C. Because every time I look at a crossword, all I can do is snore. <laughs> Why? 
But Byers finds difficulty in, inter in interesting places. <laughs> Yesterday, he got stumped trying to solve a horoscope. I mean, yeah. Zodiac signs are difficult, let me tell ya. <laughs> what? what? I was gone for five seconds. The Pyrus is a time lord. I mean, Sans. Actually, they're both time lords. Who am I kidding? It's an elf of the Lord. Human, please enjoy the spaghetti. Little do you know, the spaghetti is a trap designed to entice you. You'll be so busy eating it that you won't realize you aren't progressing. So, really jaded again by the great papyrus. No, that's his jape. Yeah, papyrus. <laughs> spaghetti. It's a plate of frozen spaghetti. It's so cool. It's stuck on the table. It's an unplugged microwave. All, all the spaghetti say spaghetti. <laughs> How dare you? Warning! Dog marriage. What? What? Dog. Pet. You barely lifted your head on unless your dog got excited. Do I spare him or do I make his head go through the roof? I'm making his head spare. There's a switch hidden in the snow. Click. It's time for the axe dogs. What's that smell? Where is that smell? <laughs> if, if you're a smell, identify your smell. Identify your smell. I can probably do a better voice. Hmm. That's here is that weird smell. It makes me it makes me want to eliminate. Eliminate you! Assault me! Assault! Assault! Uh, <clears throat> roll around. You roll around in the dirt and snow. You smell like a weird puppy. No two nuzzle champs, 98. Of course. What? What? Am I just weird? Or do I Dogs may like to re smell you. Re sniff. Dog sniffs you again. After rolling in the dirt, you smell all right. It smells like a... Are you actually a puppet? Dogs. I'm gonna roll around some more. Don't touch my hot dog. <laughs> Did you really just say that? Kobe, why? Free sniff. Weird puppy. Uh, no problem. What? How'd you avoid my trap? And more 
importantly. Is there any left for me? What do you tell the virus about his spaghetti? Left it. Really? Wowie! You resisted my flavor and homemade pot food pasta just so you could share it with me? Fret not, human! I, Master Chef Papyrus, will make you all the pasta you could ever want. <laughs> yeah. That, if, Papyrus, that was the opposite one. I should, I should Papyrus. My brother started a sock collection recently. How saddening. Sometimes I wonder what he would do, would do, without such a cool guy taking care of him. <laughs> Papyrus, you're the greatest. Human. Um, how do I say this? You were taking some time to arrive, so what do you mean I took some time to arrive? I decided to improve this puzzle. By arranging the snow that looks more like a face. Not a face, unfortunately. The snow froze to the ground. Now the solution is different. And as usual, my lazy bones brother is nowhere around. I suppose what I'm trying to say is, worry not, human. I, the great papyrus, can solve this. Okay, so we can both proceed. Meanwhile, feel free to try the puzzle yourself. I'll try not to give you away the answer. I know there's a switch around that tree, but I want to actually try to solve it. You're amazing. Oh. What did you get here? What? Why are you here? Stop stalking me! You must really be good at puzzles, huh? I mean, it's impossible for you. you. You haven't seen this before. Well, that's that's debatable. Hey, it's the human. You're gonna love this puzzle. It was made by the great Dr. Alphys. You'll see these tiles? Once I throw this switch, you mean, you mean press, or you mean like flip, or you pull, not throw, you're not gonna throw the switch, you're gonna press or pull it. No, that'll be button. You're gonna pull the switch. You're not gonna throw it, you're gonna pull it. They will begin to change color. Each color has a different function. Red tiles are impassable. You cannot walk on them. What if I what can I walk all over them? Yellow, yellow tiles are electric. They will electrocute you. Yeah. But you're the one who got truly got electrocuted the first time. Green tiles are alarms. Are alarm tiles. If you step on them, you have to fight a monster. Orange tiles and orange scented. What? Orange scented. They will make you smell delicious. Blue tiles are water tiles. Swim through if you like, but if you smell like oranges, the prawns will bite you. Also, if a blue tile is, is next to a yellow tile, the water will also zap you. Purple tile. Purple tiles are slippery. You will slide to the next to the next tile. However, the slippery slope it smells like lemons, which piranhas do not like. Purple and blue are okay. Finally, pink tiles. They don't do anything. Step on them all you like. How was that? Un how was that understood? So I understand the explanation, of course. Great. Then, there's one last thing. This puzzle is entirely random. Now, when I pull 
the switch, it will make a puzzle that has never been seen before. Not even I will know the solution. Yeah, get ready. Depressing. <laughs> well, actually, that spaghetti from earlier, it wasn't too bad for, for my brother. Since he started cooking lessons, he has been improving a lot. I bet if he kept it up for the next year, he'll even be able to make something edible. <laughs> Poor papyrus. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let's go. Sixty nine minutes. I'm an immature child. What's that done? I'm gonna save so I don't have to do that puzzle again. That's fine. Everyone probably knows what I'm doing, but if you don't, uh, boss fight time. This guy's got a simple pattern, but he can be a pain in the butt sometimes. By some, I mean most of the time. Hey, look, see the orbs are multiplying. Uh oh, so sorry. That that guy's a. Uh, he exists. I don't know how to change my time zone though. Oh, they're all disappearing, which means that I'm gonna get jump scared soon. There will always be one on screen when I'm done. There's really nothing to say, is there? There's just waiting for for this to happen. Oh, hey, yeah, they all did disappear. There's four now. There's... Come on. Come on, you know you want to. There we go. Sup. Glide on swooped in. Glide. Uh, applaud. 
Let's stop in the here. Okay, I rule. I admit it. Gosh dang it. I'm helping an egotistical guy. Don't really like you being egotistical. Because you're self obsessed. You can't. <laughs> I don't think that you can What else do I have to say that you're. Dang it. First death, and it was to a secret boss. Yeah, I'm not doing that again. Wait, 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 no, 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 no! It's on the post snow with the word sends written on it with red marker. It's a snow papyrus. You encountered a wild snow papyrus. Oh, wait, no, please, 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 please. <coughs> Sands. Oh, gosh. You're really going to do this to me? I had a snow dog on my head. I have a snow bird now. So, oh no, he doesn't say anything else. Should I do Gift Trot? Yeah, we're doing Gift Trot. I'm gonna fight Gift Trot, cause why not? What do I do? Ah, yes, Murder Dance always works. Gift Trot, I'm decorate. Is there a dog in his head? No, oh, yeah, there's just a literal dog on his head. What? Gift Trot, you need help? You need a new attack? <laughs> I spared the weird de deer monster. I almost said deer murder. It's a snow poof. And it's a snow poof. And however, it's a, it's a snow poof. Surprisingly, it's a snow poof. Snow poof. It's really a snow poof. Behold, a snow poof. It? There's 30G inside this. What is it? It's not a snow poof, it's a dog. It's a dog. Aw, it's a dog the size of your mom. <laughs> that was a dumb joke. Greater dog. He's not great. He's not a greater dog. He's a... He's a... He's a because he's a spear. That's right, I said it. <laughs> Guns towards you, freaking slobber into your face. Bark, bark, bark. Are we getting Temi armor? We're going to. Are we going to Coleg? Are we making him go to Coleg? Should I make him go to Coleg? See, he wakes up. I'm so excited. No. Play. Oh, 
Okay. Just pet the dog. What the dog doing? I did it. Bark. Do you know what up dog is? <laughs> Human? This is this is your final and most dangerous challenge. Behold, the gauntlet of deadly terror. Oh, holy moly. <laughs> hey look, it's quite literally up dog. <laughs> when I say the word, it will act fully activate. Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, and blades will slice. Each part of swing, uh, each part will swing violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain, human. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it. Well, what's the hold up? Hold up! What hold up? I'm about to activate now. That uh, doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge seems maybe too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we can't use this. This one is... I'm a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair. And my traps are, are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct. No class at all. Away it goes. I'm trying my best voices, it's not working, I keep forgetting it. Phew! I also drink the water in the middle. What are you looking at? I'm looking at you currently. What else is there to look at? Snow? Trees? Bridge? <laughs> Your brother? Your mother? Um... This was another decisive victory for the for the for the, for the, for the, for the This was another decisive victory for the Great Papyrus. It doesn't say Great Papyrus, but still. Nyeh. Yeah. Eh. Eh. He just kind of gives up. He's like. <laughs> Here, I'll give you some advice about finding my brother. Don't. Capish. I'll kill your brother just in spite of you. Um, but no, Poharis gets spared. He is a sweet child. I love this song. Seminem buns are good. Bye now. Bye. The snowman piece away. I don't know why I need to save that for later. talk to everyone? Sure, why not? I never do it. That lady over there? Something about her disturbs me. Oh! <laughs> I get it! Cause she's a bunny walking a bunny. That's actually really messed up now that I think about it. Isn't my little cinnamon bun just the cutest? Bun buns are the adorable. Are so adorable. Tee hee! See what you mean? Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree like horns. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. Guess it was a good thing those tor teen tormented to that monster. Oh hey, it's adopted. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. No, yeah, I don't like this thing. I really don't like it. Yo! You're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. I feel, I feel offended by that. <laughs> and that's not okay. I'm joking. This town doesn't have a mayor. But if, but, he, but there's even a problem. A skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. 
A skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. What does that have to do with politics? Ah, oh, Sans theme. Where would it be Groovy's theme? No matter where I go, it's always the same menu of the same people. Help! I want new drinks and uh, 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 hot guys. What were you say? Hmm. Isn't human food different from alpha food? It does things like spoil. It doesn't do things like spoil. And when you eat it, just it, it passes all the way through your body, your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try some, it sometime. There's a capital getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're going to start moving here. Hmm. I don't want to see the race though of, of our local culture. But I definitely want to see some city stickers slick and slip into the, their butts. I put the I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm talking that, I'm taking that seriously. I'm normally gonna go out with a fish. Those junks are part of the Royal Guard, the elite military group led by Undyne. She's rude, loud, and beats up everyone who gets in her way. Yep, it sounds about right. <clears throat> it's no wonder all these kids want to be like her when they when they grow up. Except the Grobies. Groby said that he would offer you a glass of water, but but he doesn't touch the stuff. <laughs> Irony. It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. <laughs> A muffled voice because you know he has a scarf around his, his mouth. Must be hard to talk. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. What? We can't do anything, so why be worse about it? Well, that's a nice way of thinking. Let's play monsters and humans. rewards me.
Is he suplexing that boulder? Oh my god, he is! <laughs> he's just... He's just eating a giant thing of ice. The library. Welcome to the library. library. Yes, we know. The sun's misspelled. But why? That look in your eye. You look like someone who has trouble with doing crosswords, aren't you? Oh, no, shut up. <laughs> when I was younger, my teachers gave me a word, word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were, they were a waste of time. But look at me now. That's a big title for a cat gremlin. <laughs> I have no clue what you are, but you, yeah, you're there. I love working on new, on the newspaper. There's little kids to report that just <clears throat> there's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. This is what people say amounts of souls are made of. But people are after But the absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need to these things to exist. Monsters History Part 4. Okay, if this is part four. Monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, they take the dust and turn it out to a person's favorite thing. Then their, their essence is on that thing. Uh, am I at the page minimum yet? I'm kind of sick of writing this. <laughs> While monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. That's yeah. I mean, yeah. We we are literally like basically cucumbers, right? Did I, did I, is, is it, that that's, I think that's right. Humans with their physical forms are are far stronger than us, but they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. What does that have to do with expressing themselves through magic? Here here I am. Writing this book, a person comes in and picks up the book. They're starting, they start reading it. Oh, sorry, I'm still writing that one. Because they are made out, because they are made out of magic, monster body, soul. Because they are made of magic, monster bodies are attuned to their souls. If monster doesn't, if a monster doesn't want to fight, it's defenseless. It's defenses will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attack will hurt. Therefore, if I, if a being with a powerful soul struck, struck with a desire to kill, uh, let's just end that chapter here. Oh, monsters history part four. Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city home. We brave, harsh, cold, damp, swamp, swamp land and searching of heat until we reach what we know calling our capital, new home. Again, our king is, re is really bad at names. Okay. There's a mailbox with a label papyrus. You look inside. Yes. Thank you. It's a mailbox overflowing with letters and red junk mail. I'm gonna beat Papyrus first try. Watch this.
got some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover, or the administration for another pu another's puzzle solving skills. The desire to have a cool, smart person think that you are cool. You are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are, you are feeling right now. You, c I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what it's like having, having, having lots of friends. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. Oh, I'm bad at what? I'm bad. At I'm bad at words. I pity you, you lonely human. Worry not. You shall be lonely no longer. I, the great papyrus, shall be your. No. No, th this is wrong. This is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you. Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus. The newest member of the Royal Guard. Papyrus blocks the way. What? Are you... Flirting? So you finally revere your ultimate feelings. Well, I'm a skin I'm a skeleton with very high standards. Oh no, you're meeting all my standards! I guess that means I have to go on a date with you. Let's date later after I capture you. <laughs> your mom! Oh no! Let's see if later I capture you. Flirt. So you would fight. And let's see if we can handle my fable blue attack. Ah, dang, got hit with one blue. song so much. Papyrus, you sweet child. He's not a child, but he's still sweet and innocent like one. What the heck? That's my special attack! 
Hey, stupid dog! Do you hear me? Stop munching on that phone! What are you doing? Come back with my special attack! Oh well. I'll just use a really cool regular attack. I shall spare you, human. Now your chance now it's your chance to accept mercy. No I I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undan's gonna be so disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard, and my friend my friend Quantity will remain stagnant. What a loser. Huh? <laughs> Why would you berate yourself so loudly? Is it because you don't think you're a good enough friend to be, to be a friend? No. You're great. I'll be your friend. Wowee! We? we haven't even had our first day yet, and I've already hit the friend zone. <clears throat> Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them. You've taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through, and I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through, but nothing can exit, except someone with a powerful sword. Like you! That's why the king wants to acquire a human soul. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is... Well... He's a big fluffy pushover. Everybody loves the guy. I'm certain if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. Yeah! Well. Hi, Stavon. Hey, you wanna see something cool? Wow! Why not? Wow! You're you're so eager to go on to date me. You're trying to enter go to my house without me. That's really weird. <laughs> yeah, of course. So you came to have back to have a date with me. You must really you must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of my time. Papyrus is one of the best characters. You cannot change my mind. My house! He's too innocent for his own good. Dog. I'm impressed. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look, see. Dog. What? <laughs> what? Touch that meddling canine. 
Canine. Curses. Sans? Stop plaguing my life with incidental music. This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. Yep. Sprinkle rock. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes. Sans, pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Didn't you just say to not bring it back? Forget it. <laughs> Poor papyrus. That's my room. If you finish looking around, we can go and do whatever people do on a date. Uh, I rather not. <laughs> I rather not thinking about uh, certain things. Um, he's just <laughs> you spin me. No, wait, that's pop. That's copyrighted. Uh, skeleton is spinning. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to, do you want to start the date? Begin. Okay, date starting. Dating start. Here we are, on our date. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters for my name. I snagged an official dating rule book from the library. We're ready to have a great date. Let's see. Step one. Press C on your keyboard. You were for your dating rule. I think you already did that. Oh, we. I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. Step two. Ask them on a date. Ahem. Human. I, the Great Papyrus. We'll go on a date with you. We'll, we'll go on a date with you. No. Fortunately, it's, uh, it only says to ask. I guess that means it's time for part three. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Step three. Put on your nice clothes and sh to show that you care. You fool. I'm already putting on clothes. You've, you've fallen into my trap. Wait a second. Wearing clothing. That bandage hanging off of you. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that. Earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You wanted this date for me all along from the very beginning. Yes. No! You, pl you planned it all along! You're way better at dating than I am! No, your dating power! Yes, Papyrus, die! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't think, don't think you've bested me yet. I, the great papyrus, have never been beaten at dating and never will. This is the only day you'll have. Heh! <laughs> I can easily keep up with you, can you? You, you see? I too can wear clothing. Oh god, no! <laughs> In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. Uh, just in case someone has me to ask me on a date. Well, you know, yeah, well, I'm just gonna pretend you didn't say that. Behold! Yeah, what do you think of my secret style? I hate it. <laughs> Get dunked on. <laughs> no! Your honesty! It shows how much you really care. And the hidden power of my outfit. Therefore, what you said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further unless you find my secret. But yeah, it won't happen. My hat. My hat. My hat. Yeah. Well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. You can't even bring yourself to open and harm my delectic my delect my wrapping. No, no, that technique—it's too strong. Counterattack! I'll open the present to myself. 
Oh, he's too strong. He's finding out my trick. <laughs> Do you know what this is? Of course. Spaghetti. That's what you think it. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right. But oh, so wrong. This is an anti. This is in. This isn't any plate of oh, plate of old pasta. This is an artist's work. Skeleton spaghetti fine fine aged in a Oaken's cast. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. You mean you're letting me have it? Because you know how much I love pasta. It's impossible! Taking my present and turning it on me. Ah! For us, gosh. Human, it is clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time to, for me to express my feelings. It's time to, I to, that I told you. I, Papyrus, I... Um, boy, is it hot in here or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I... I'm sorry. I don't like you the same way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I've tried very hard. I thought that because you flirted with me that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then on a date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. But instead, by dating you, I've only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to such a dear friend? To, or, it says to my dear friend. No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human! I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend. And out and act like this never happened. After all you are very you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry don't cry yourself to sleep at night because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you, you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> oh, it's hard to recognize. Oh, and if you ever needed to reach me, there's my phone number. You can call me anytime, platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> It is hard to do a papyrus voice for a long amount of time. Oh, my head hurts. <laughs> it's time to go on our first date with Sam. Two back-to-back -back dates, who would've thought? seen that guy before with two jobs? Uh, unfortunately, two jobs with twice the, as many or legally required breaks. I'm going to Grovis. Wanna come? Yeah. Well, if you insist, I'll pile myself away from work for a while. Oh, yeah. I know a shortcut. Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greeting, Sans. Hey, a Sansy. Hey, Sans. Weren't you in here for breakfast a few minutes ago? No. I haven't been. I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. Here, get comfy. Classic Sans. Oops. Watch where you sit down. Some weirdos put 
candy cushions under the seats. Anyways, let's let's order. What do you want? Burger. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Groovy. We'll have a double order of burger. What do you think? With my brother. That's cool. I like the wires. Of course it's cool. You'd be cool for cool that same outfit. Uh, that, the, uh, the, 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 um, you'd only take that thing off if you absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. Oh, and by that I mean he wears it into the in it in the shower. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? <sighs> bon appetit! The cap falls off and all the ketchup on the bottle pours on your food. Whoops! Yeah, forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. Anyway, who or not? You have to agree, Papyrus tries really hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the uh, he went to the house of the Roy of the head of the Royal Guard and be and begged and, and begged her to let him in and, and beg her to let him in. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to, to give him warrior training. It's, uh, still a work in progress. Zawar dough. Oh, yeah. I wanted to ask you something. No, wait. Now it's the time to stop. Yep. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? So you know all about it. The echo flower. They're all over the marsh. Say. Say something. Oh, I know. Say something to them. And they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Myers told me something interesting one day, one the other day. Sometimes when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement. Pre Prediction? Weird, huh? And someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Whoop! That was a long break. Can't believe you, you pulled me away from my work for so long. Oh, by the way, my flat broke. Can you pay for the bill? Just kidding. Oops, put on my tab. Oh, by the way, I was gonna say something, but I forgot. Well, that was interesting. That's gonna be the end of today. Uh, 